In the previous videos, we introduced merge function. We also introduced merge sort. We discussed that merge sort is a divide and conquer algorithm. It is strongly recommended to see those videos first before coming to this video. Let us now talk about merge sort algorithm. How does this work? As we discussed, merge sort is a divide and conquer algorithm. We take an input array and we also take two indexes L and R. L is the first index of this array. If your array is zero based, then it's going to be zero. R is last index, which is the last index of your array. So zero, one, two, three, four. So if for this array, L is going to be zero and R is going to be four, right? What do we do after taking the input array? We first check this. Does this input array contain at least two elements? Because if there is one element in your input array, then there is nothing required to be done. It's already sorted. To do something on your input array, to do divide and then sort and then merge, we need to have at least two elements. So we put this condition. At least two elements should be there. Then only we perform our merge sort logic. Otherwise, we do not do anything. After checking for at least two elements, we find the midpoint of our input. So this expression that I have written here, it is same as L plus R by two. You know, it's same as the purpose of writing L plus R by two is to avoid overflow. What happens in merge sort and binary search algorithms, they do, if they do this L plus R by two, and if L and R are high, then there might be overflow for large arrays. If you are not getting it now, we'll discuss it in detail after we discuss the merge sort algorithm. But the idea of this expression, the meaning of this expression is same as this. The only purpose here is to avoid overflow. We'll talk about this in more detail. So we find the midpoint for our input array. That's what we do here. So we have zero and four and mid is going to be zero plus four by two. Or if we follow the expression here, it's same as R plus L by two. So we'll get zero plus four minus zero by two, right? So we'll get two. We get two as a midpoint. After finding the midpoint, we recursively sort the array from L to mid. So we have the midpoint M as two, right? So this is where M is. We recursively sort this half, right? And we assume that our mass sort function works. So this sort is going to sort this array to five, 10, 30, right? We'll discuss in detail, like how does this happen? Actually it happens due to merge function. But we recursively sort this left half and after that we recursively sort the right half. So we get 715, right? These two arrays we get, these two uh, sub arrays of input array are sorted by these two calls. After sorting these two sub arrays, the half half sub arrays, we call the merge function. And what merge function does, it takes this half, it takes this half and it merges these two. And we have talked about merge function. So what it is going to do, it is going to merge these two sorted sub arrays of our input array. So what we'll get after merging these two, we'll get five, seven, 10, 15, 30. And that's a sorted array. So our input array is modified to this thing, right? So we get the sort in this way. So what we do in merge sort, we first check if there are at least two elements, right? If there is one element, there's no point sorting. After checking this, we find the midpoint, right? After finding the midpoint, we recursively sort elements from low to mid. And then we recursively sort elements from mid plus one to R. After sorting these two halves, we merge these two halves. And merge, how does merge work? It takes two sorted arrays, which are two sorted halves of your input, right? So it considers one sorted array from L2, array L2 
array m and other sorted array from m plus 1 to r and we tell this merge function that this is the point to which you need to consider the left half and after considering these two sorted subarrays a merge function simply does the merge logic and makes one sorted array let us now do a dry run of this algorithm how does this work so let's take this input array we have l is 0 and r is 4 so our function begins its execution from here so r is greater than l r is 4 l is 0 so we come inside when we come inside we find the middle point our middle point is 2 after doing this computation now we come here so our main function which was called from 0 to 4 is now here and what it does here it makes a recursive call it makes a recursive call for 0 to 2 low to m 10 5 30 now recursive call function begins with l equal to 0 and r equal to 2 right your new values are 0 and 2 for in the recursive call this is 0 and this is 2 so this recursive call also goes inside this if condition because r is greater than l and what it does it finds the m and what is m m is 1 right here m is 1 right. it does 0 it considers l as 0 and r is 2 and finds the midpoint after finding the midpoint this function also calls merge sort from l to m which is 0 to 1 l is equal to 0 r is equal to 1 for this particular left call and this function now begins its execution and this will begin its execution from the same point and it checks r is greater than l so it will find the midpoint what is the midpoint now 0 plus 1 minus 0 by 2 which is 0 so you will get the midpoint as 0 so it again makes a call for merge sort with single element l is 0 and r is also 0 single element 10 so when this call is made this also begins its execution from this point and what happens in this call it does not go inside this if condition because r is not greater than l so it stops here right so this function call simply finishes and gives the control back to its parent call so now the control comes to this function call with l equal to 0 and r equal to 1 it was waiting for this to finish it has finished because it didn't go inside this condition it calls the other thing so this parent call now makes a call for m plus 1 to r so l is now m plus 1 which is 1 r is 1 and 5 so this call is made here for l equal to 0 and r is equal to 1 function call and when you call this a new function call begins from here and r is not greater than l so this call will simply not go inside this condition it will simply return the control back to the parent because this is over so now the control comes here to the parent call with l equal to 0 and r equal to 1 so what does parent do parent was waiting for this this was finished here it was then waiting for this this was finished here so parent call now comes here march l m r so what it is going to do it is going to call march for this subarray and this subarray l m r which means 0 0 1 it's going to make a march call with 0 0 1 right and what march is going to do it's going to march this with this so this is greater so when march happens this will become 5 right it will become 5 and this will become 10 right so these two finish their call they return the control back to the parent and parent call came into the merge function and merge these two sub arrays right so they merge after doing the merge this call l equal to 0 and r equal to 1 is done it has finished its work now it finishes so control comes back to the parent now parent which was parent call which was waiting here 
right to finish the left call to be over now it makes a call to the right child uh, the other recursive call right so it makes a recursive call for m plus 1 to r m is 1 m plus 1 is 2 so your l is 2 and r is 2 which is 30. so this call begins now and when this call begins what happens it checks for this condition R is not greater than L. So this call simply finishes, it's over and it gives the control back to the parent. And for parent, L is zero and R is two and M is one. So for parent, this call is over, this call is over. Now what will parent call do? It will come inside this march function. It will come inside this march function and inside this march function, what it will do? It will merge the elements from L to M, which means zero to 1 and then m plus two, 1 to r which means 2 to 2. So it will merge these two sub arrays. So when these are merged what will you get? What will merge function do? It will simply bring them together in a sorted way. So you will get 5 and 10 and 30 right? when these two are merged. So this function call which was called for l equal to 0 and r equal to 2 has done everything. It has made two recursive calls and it has called Mars as well. And Mars has done its work. It has Mars these two arrays. Now this will make the, now this will give the control back to its parent. And what is the parent of it? Our original function, L equal to zero and R equal to four. So what will parent do? It was waiting, the parent was waiting for left call, which is over now. The left call has given control back to the parent. So parent will make this call and what this call is, this call is for m plus 1 to r. So what is m? m is, sorry, what is l? l is 3 and r is 4, which means you have elements from 15 and 7. So this recursive call is made here by the original function call right because this got control back because this got finished so our original function call got the control back and once it got the control back it started executing the next line which is this line now what this recursive call do it will make first recursive call for here right first it will find the midpoint and then make recursive call here what is midpoint for this 3 plus 4 by 2 which is 3 so it will make two recursive calls L to M, which means 3 to 3, L is 3, and R is 3. And then it will make one more recursive call for M plus 1 to R. So what is M plus 1? 3 plus 1, 4. So L is 4. And R is also 4. 7. And then once these two calls are over, this will march. So it will make it 715. So this right call is also over. Now the control goes back to our original function call. Now what it is going to do? It is going to call march. It is going to call march from 0 to 2 and 3 to 4. Please note that the modifications that I have been making, they are done in the same array. So this array which is written here, it is actually modified. It is modified. It has become 5, 10, 30. So this was our input array. After these two calls, our input array has been changed to this. Right? Now it is calling the merge function. And what merge function will do? It will merge this part and this part. So these two parts will be merged. And merging will simply combine them into one sorted array. So your input array is changed to 5, 7, 10, 15 and 13 right so this is how your input array is sorted we divided our input array into two parts recursively called mass sort for the left half then recursively called mass sort for the right half which means we sorted left half and right half and then our mass function combined these two sorted arrays